there guys, I'm Dex564 and this is continuation of all Let's Play of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, we... We kinda know where Necronomicon is now, but... I don't think it'll help us all that much. Alright, we need to go to bat and... We are right now in the monastery, we pretend to be some sort of a monk at the moment. And we need to kill or persuade a person that... Uh, That is probably another novice, as we are. We need to, to go and talk to other novices, potentially. Yeah, find out which one of the novices is pious, and we need to kill the pious. Mm, get to know the brothers. Mm -hmm. Where is he? Or I kind of forgot. I think they were somewhere in... Um, I don't think this novice Antonius is the guy I'm looking for, so... Um, oh, I'm trespassing here. Guess we'll not do it right this moment. Uh, I'm, what, what? I'm neglecting my daily sh- What the hell are you talking about? says go to bed I don't think I don't think so I think it's a bit too early I think the novices he said would be in the garden no hmm oh yeah there is one my name's Gregor a novice you can call me Siskin now, are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although, it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Are you hiding something? Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka of Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, a lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. Hmm. Okay. So, why did you come here if you took all the coin? But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice, the monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive... Okay. They must have figured out that you robbed them? They must have realized you robbed them. I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. Hmm. So what will you do next? What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere. Far, far away from here. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Hmm. So about this stash of yours? I'm still curious about this treasure trove of yours. It's no big terrible secret. Really, it isn't. I just go and read during services. There's no time otherwise. I mean... At other times, I don't get to read what I like, and I keep it under the slab so the others don't find it. Hmm. 
Well, I'll I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be. Don't worry, I won't follow you again. Thank you. And please, Gregor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, does he ties his stash somewhere? Okay. Uh, I I will not entrust him with bias for now. How did he get no penance for missing mass? How is it that you don't get any penance for missing morning prayers? I've paid off the circators to turn a blind eye. And the other monks don't notice as long as you show your face there from time to time. No one's still awake at that time of the morning. Okay. Uh, so what do you think about other novices? I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Antonius. Oh, Antonius. Oh, if there was a monk I'd recommend as a friend, with of course the exception of myself, it would be Antonius. He has a calm soul, he's easy to talk to, and you can always rely on him. Okay. That's all. Thanks. It might be Antonius. It might be Antonius. Way too good of a uh, gay raid. Hmm. I'd like to ask. Tell me something about life here, who's responsible for what. I, I guess well, that's all for now. There's another dude walking about here. No, that's Antonius. I'm telling you, someone's been creeping around the corridor at night. What am I saying, creeping? He was stomping about like a bear. Where are there two? Pretty sure there are still two more somewhere. Everything is very hard locked. God damn it, people. It's like we're not brothers or something. So this nope. Brother. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are Um apologize. I had other affairs that needed to be attended to immediately. It will never happen again. Brother. I wasn't born yesterday. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. Okay, got it. I'm just looking for other two novices. Uh, here's one. Greeting, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. Okay. So what do you think of the other novices? I'm interested in the other novices. What do you think of Siskin? What can you tell me about Siskin? Well, he's always got a smile on the new friend. But I reckon he don't belong in the monastery. He spends more time dreaming of the world outside than tending to his duties. I'm surprised he hasn't been thrown out already. If he was up to me, he'd be out on his ear right away. Okay. And you don't think that much of him? Sounds like you don't have much time for him. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Believe me, Gregor. He's hiding something from us. In fact, now I come to think of it, I haven't seen him at morning prayers for a while. Okay, and Antonius? Do you know anything about Antonius? Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily, because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is alright. You can rely on him. He won't betray your confidence. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Okay. Antonius is definitely suspicious. And tell me something about yourself. Can you tell me something about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner, now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Why did you join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As the youngest son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate. But he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than mucking out manure. Okay. Uh, who'd you elect an abbot? I guess it'll come up eventually. We don't have the right to vote, so we shouldn't get mixed up in it. 
I'm just interested, that's all. I like John better. But like I've said, it's not our place to get involved. It's enough that Antonius is mixed up in it. Don't you start too. Hmm, so how, how is he mixed up? Uh, any other questions? Something about life here, who's responsible for what here, and... Well, that's no. Why so uh, huh. So, the, the last one. There he is. Why such hate? Okay, Lucas, tell me about yourself. I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are... Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. Will you tell me something about yourself? Guy. There's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Hmm. Why won't you tell me anything? Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about other novices then. Siskin. Can you tell me about Siskin? Not a lot. I don't know him. Actually, I don't know much about him at all. Except that he's not a... Okay. Uh, Jodok. You know anything about Jodok? Jodok. Don't. He doesn't like me, and he's on very friendly terms with the circators. That's about it. Hmm. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. I've never. Okay. Are you joking? Don't you know anyone at all here? Why should I? I'd have thought you might want to know who you'll be spending the rest of your life with. I definitely do. In fact, I probably already know more about them than you do. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. Hmm. Okay. Who would you like to have it? But I can't vote. So what's the point of worry? Ask Antonius. He often talks about it, and I'm sure he has. How do you know? You like not even never talk to him or anything. Hmm. Go to bed. There, that's the, the way to the sleeping quarters, right? Pay more attention, brother. Nope. 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 Wrong place, I guess. So, Antonius, what can you tell me about other people? I'll be interested. So, this Lucas fella. I'm interested in Lucas. No one knows much about him. He doesn't talk to anyone. He works, eats, sleeps, then does it all again the next day. It's as if he wanted to get it all over with as soon as possible. By it, I mean his entire life. Hmm. What about your doc? Be on good terms with him. If you show even the slightest hint you don't like him, He'll make your life hell. He's a slimy little pedant who'll rat you out to the superiors. Once he finishes his novitiate, I imagine he'll want to climb his way up the ladder to at least Sir Cater. He's a man who enjoys ordering others around. Okay, and Siskin? Siskin? That there's no man alive less suitable for the monastic life than him. <laughs> you don't know young Lord Capon. 
<laughs> I've heard things. Siskin must have been like him. Fighting, drinking, fornicating. But then he ended up in here. Uh, why is he in the monastery? Even though we already no know. Knows. Maybe he's hiding from something. Or maybe he's being punished. Do you think he has a secret? Don't we all? But unlike the others, he absolutely refuses to speak about his life before the monastery. That's Kay. all I wanted to know about him. Thanks. So Sith Siskin has a stash somewhere, which makes it kind of, you know, suspicious that he is the guy we're looking for. Lucas... Lucas just doesn't talk to anybody, and that's suspicious by itself. Antonius is... like, everybody likes Antonius, which is suspicious, again. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go and have some sleep, and then we'll see. Oh, well, let's go and have some sleep first, uh, which is my bad. Uh, I guess sleep and save. Do we need to just... It says go to bed. Mm, so I guess do we sleep till morning? I guess we do. Since it's already night time, I guess we just uh, sleep till morning. That'll be our actual first day in the monastery. I guess we'll be put to work or something. What do you mean I'm neg neglecting my daily schedule? Go to the church and mass for... How early do I have to get up? Like, you didn't tell me how early to get up. So... Uh, where the hell is the exit? I guess it's on the other side of the... Yeah. Now there it is. There we go. Uh, do I just stand here? Well, let's wait an hour, I guess. Yep, okay. Eat with the others. So prayer till six, I guess. Slow down, brother. Where was the thing? Well, I know. Okay, let's let's eat. <laughs> we will just sit here through through this whole prayer of, of his. Seriously. Okay, uh, can we, like, fast forward here as well? Hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, wait a little more. That's super exciting. Eating. I guess that's... That should be it. Yes. Okay. Go on the front report to someone. Where do I need to go again? Well, well it... Um... Do I need to go here? I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Neblis, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, nope, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Okay. Uh, I'm here for my daily duties. Tell me about yourself. I don't know about the election of a new abbot. Can I help anything? Is there anything I could help with? You know, there is. Perhaps you've heard that Abbot Peter is gravely ill. I'm interested in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? Sure, you can count my help. Count on my help. What do you need me to do? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God, and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Okay. Uh, do you have any advice? Is there anything you can tell me that would help? There's a key to the cabinet in the prior's chambers. The librarian should have another one. Or you can acquire some lockpicks. But I can't tell you where or how. Perhaps Brother Solarius could help. Okay, the librarian has a key and the prior... Okay. Um... Okay. Why can't you do it yourself, though? You do it yourself? Because I am one of the highest ranking monks here, and one day I'd like to become abbot. Can you imagine me crawling around in the black of night searching for a forbidden book? You could just ask for it. Do you honestly think I haven't tried? Unfortunately, Librarian Cyril is a stubborn ass. Okay, which book do you exactly want? Where can I find it? In the library, there's a large cabinet with a lock on it. The forbidden books are inside. You'll easily recognize what you're looking for. The cover has not only a Latin inscription, but also Saracen letters. Bring it to me, but leave the other books there. No one will notice if one book disappears, but if more were to vanish, someone would certainly begin to look into it, which is exactly what we don't want. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. We'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. Okay. I guess I'm here for my daily duties. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. I want you to prepare two marigold decoctions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Okay. Where is the chest? I don't know. Uh, well, whatever. Let's let's just we'll just take it all. Let's make some marigold decoctions. 
Nope. Hmm. So, we'll need water, a handful of nettle, and a marigold. Drop the nettle in the water and cook for one turn. Have to leave to cool, drop the marigold, but don't boil it anymore. Um, okay, I think I got it. Do we need to, like, cook it? Does it mean we need to boil it? I guess so. Okay, let's prepare that stuff. Which one is... That's marigold, well, that's nettle. Uh, we need water. Okay. So... Drop the nettle in the water and cook for one. Okay. Let's, I guess, cook it. So, boil it for one turn. I guess it'll boil way too long because I... And... Marigold. Two, two of them, right? So do we just leave it there? Leave it to cool, but don't boil it anymore. Okay. So is that it? I guess that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Do I already have two miracle decoctions or something? Well, it says I do. Who am I to argue? Oh, I have three. Somehow. What do we have here? Oh, there, there we go. 3 a.m. start of the day, 4 a.m. morning prayer, 6 common meal, 8 work, noon work for the, in the library, afternoon worship, okay, you there, grab some marigold decoctions, I finished my work, Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough. Okay. Potion submitted. What time is it now? It's nine. I have till twelve to... Where is that brother, Celtus, or whatever he, the, the, is, the one is? Oh, really? I cannot get out? Yeah, apparently I can't. Well, let's wait till 12 then. We'll go to the library, I guess. Because we're gonna have some sort of a... thing to do there. Also, librarian has the key from the, the, the bookcase. I, and I think librarian actually sleeps with us. Because, right? I, I've seen him come down at some point. So, nope, not yet. I guess that should do it, right? We need to go to the library now. Uh, how do I get there? Is that the way up to script? Uh, yeah, I think so.
Hmong, brotherly librarian. Okay. Praise be to Christ. Yeah, yeah. Could I be learn something about other novices in the library? Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? Anything I can do to help here? I'm glad you asked. There's one thing, a silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before. But not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Okay. Do you want me to put the book back together? Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Okay, I'll look, I'll look around for them. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. <laughs> yeah, right. Um... Where should I look? Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere. From the garden to the refectory. Okay. I'm here okay, for my duties. Work. Good. This is most likely the first time you've ever done this in your life. But it's easier than you think. Just a bit of practice and learning Latin. Here's the original, and here are the blank parchments on which you'll copy what you read in the original. Is that clear? Then you may begin, and try not to make a mess of it. Okay. So, do I... Yep. Um... Uh, what? Oh, crap. Uh, shit, I should have, uh, I should have re read that first, shouldn't have I? Uh... I think it's written right, right over there, above the, the thing, right? Uh... Orano in the end... Is it Orano? Dominum? Yeah, I think this one. Ducta Puria in... Yeah, I think that's the one. What? The something? Is it Otto? I think Otto is in the end, right? Like the the one in B, the one above uh, blue A, yeah, I think that's the one. Uh, what what is here? I don't know. Um. I really can't tell. I don't think there's anything 
even remotely that I can see that's that's even close to I know this one I think I got two out of three at least so Will something happen here? That will point me to the actual person I need to kill. And or just get his die. No. I just sat there and been copying. Okay. Can you read at all? I've never seen so many mistakes. Whatever. I guess I should have maybe read it first. Mm. So, afternoon worship at 4 p.m. Praise be to our Lord Jesus. Okay. Uh, well, let's go get to 4 p.m. and after that, I guess. After the after the prayer, I think there's like some spare time. This is indeed a purgatory. <laughs> But during the night, we can actually go ahead and try to... First, I think we'll need to try to find some lockpicks, right? Even though hard lock, I don't think I'll be able to open it. I I'm talking about the door. Because I would like to get into the, like, abbot's place. I'm pretty sure that the one next to the... next to here is the abbot's place, right? The bookstore in there. That would make sense. So it's on the second floor, it's like in, in, in the library where it's always guarded during the day. So it's something. Well, maybe not, I don't know. And it's hard lock, so that might be an indicator. Uh, till what? till 6 which is supper okay and at 9 there's a curfew okay well let's wait till 6 I guess I guess we could try you know and try to sneak about but I would think we would be better off trying to sneak about during the night time because everybody most people will be asleep and we can actually try and uh, I'm gonna rob the librarian at this point, hopefully. No, oh, really? From Easter until the calends of October. Peace be with you. When they come out from five in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth hour until about the sixth. Yeah, okay, let's speed up till seven. And I think that's good enough. We need to still find that brother's... what's his face? Celtus or something. There he is. Solarius. What would you like? Hmm. Yeah. I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? Oh, get some wine lockpicks. I'm looking for lockpicks. Lockpicks? And what would you like those for? Hmm. I'd like to practice opening locks. 
I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Well, why not? So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lock picks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lock picks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Okay. Do I have any food on me? Do you accept marigold decoctions? Mm, no. Yeah, exit the shop. Why such haste? Slow down, brother. Um. Well, he says he accepts the food. Where is the freaking kitchen? Probably on the other side. Can I even enter there? I don't think I can. No, I'm trespassing. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Guess I'll need to come there during the night time. No. I might. What's that? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I'll just wait till night time and then I'll try to rob the librarian of the key. I think that'll be a good idea. Also, I've been told to find the freaking book, book pages, but do I just really need to go about and... Uh, sacred pages. What if I'll, you know, drop that for now? Will there be any... No, there will not be any indicators, because uh, why would there be? You just need to run about... And fucking fight the pages. Oh, who's there? What? Brother? You were somewhere you shouldn't have been. Don't you know your place? Don't you know where you're permitted to enter and where your presence is forbidden? No, no, truly. Yeah, sure. I accept my punishment. Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that is not allowed in the monastery. <laughs> Nothing. Really? Because I just put one of my legs into the kitchens? Seriously? Whole day! Whole day! Oh, That's ridiculous. Wow. Two days. It's, it was two days. Seriously? And I wasted the whole day, for fuck's sake. While I was locked up, someone was making quite a racket in the cellar. Blind drunk, I'm sure of it. I wonder what's been going on. Okay. Uh. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Brother. I know. I saw you in the church. What, what does that mean? I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything is the way. It... And when it's not the way it should be. But then we're authorized to meet out punishment. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's all I guess. For now. I guess I'll get back to because... Don't we need to go to the freaking... 
prayer now? Do we need to keep to the schedule again? Yep. Son of a... F What's your step, brother? In a oh. Yeah, let's, let's just wait. Was it till 6? Yeah, it was till 6. <sighs> Again, whole day going through the... Tr God damn it, that's, that's just stupid. Yeah, yeah, it with the others, I get it. Let's, uh, let's eat. Off we go. Okay, that'll be good enough. Or I guess not. I guess we need to wait till 8. Fine, we'll wait till 8. Okay, where the hell is he? Praise be to Christ. Daily okay, duties. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. Concoct two bucks blood. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let. Okay, bucks blood. Got it. Um. Uh, where exactly is that? Okay, so you will need oil, a handful of St. John, one. Okay. Grind St. John. Drop St. John Ward and calmly into the cauldron and boil for one turn. Leave to cool. Add dandelions, but do not boil. Okay. So... Grind St. John. Then drop it with com comfy... Comfrey or whatever. And then add dandelion. Okay, got it. What do you mean I don't have ingredients for the recipe? Do I need to pick them up again? Come on. Lullaby. There we go. So, St. John. Right, first of all, oil, right? Yeah, oil. Let's add some oil. There we go. Now. St. John. Uh, grinded. Well, if nothing else, I'll improve my alchemy, right? Drop that there. And after that, I, b I believe it's... Comfrey, right? And boil for one turn, I believe.
Okay, turn around. Well, for a turn, then we need to add dandelion. But after it cools down and don't boil it anymore. Okay, add dandelion. And that's pretty much it, right? Yep. Well, okay. I guess we're done. Okay. Salve. Pray Got your potion. I finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You found. Right. So, can I talk to you about what's hap what's uh, happening in the Gregor. cellar? I'll ask you ask you about the, um them about life here I'm interested in the monastery history hmm can you tell me about novices can you tell me about the novices what can I say you're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life after a year you can make your vows and become a fully fledged brother I meant something specific about the brother but you know them yourself Yodok is an odd one, but he's diligent and eager, perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hard-working and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. Okay. Okay, that's I guess that. Do we need to wait till noon? Yes, I think we'll need to wait till noon. And hopefully get to nighttime without incident. And then we'll probably need to go into the dungeons during the nighttime because there was some sort of a ruckus there. People were having fun. Okay, now go to Scriptorium. Praise be to our Lord Jesus. Oh, there he is. What is it, brother? Daily duties. To work. Excellent. Uh, do, did he give me anything? Like, or... Nope. I guess we just need to sit down and start copying. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing I can understand here. Is there even anything that that looks like anything? Nope. Not to me. Whatever, this one. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like anything to me. Nor this. Uh, I guess let's skip it. I get at least in no, the first. No, no, I can't. In the first few things, I was able to at least make something out. So. We need to wait till four, right? In the afternoon worship till four. Uh, 
and then I'll guess we'll just wait till till night time and we'll try to find the librarian in his book also I'll, I'll probably want to find some food there to sell to that brother for lockpicks maybe maybe I'll be able to open the door I mean I opened one hard lock right at some point but I'm not sure how, how well it will work because I definitely was a was was failing to open like the other one and not just failing I was you know simply too hard for me to even try so we are here till how long uh, till six Okay, we'll wait till six. And during the night time, we'll also need to visit the downstairs, right? Because there was something going on there. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's eat. I probably might as well just wait till... Well, might as well go to, to the bed and start sleeping till, I don't know, till 11 or something. Okay. Let's let's just go to bed. Why such haste? Let's sleep till till eleven. Then we'll try to find brother. What's his face? Brother, brother librarian here maybe. Try to steal his uh, his key. Or maybe to not to risk it, we'll try to maybe go downstairs to the... what's it called? To the cellars. Try to hear what's going on there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. No, it's not possible to see anything. Where is the brother librarian here? I've seen him come out of here once. But is he really here? No, just monk. Oh, there we go. You now what, let's try it. Okay, good. Now, let's go to the downstairs. Oh, for now, yeah. Pestilence, Restless Spirit. Was it this one? Nope. Scattered Pages? Nope, nope. Nasty Habits. Yeah. Uh, I could find out more about what is going down at night. Take, take a look, brother. Okay, let's go to the cellars. And let's try not to get caught. Huh. 
I don't know. It looks empty. You've seen us drinking here. So either join in or swear you won't tell a soul. You wouldn't want to end up like Lucas now, would you? Hmm. And what happened to Lucas? Yeah, sure, I'll join. I wouldn't mind some wine. That's more like it. Sit down and have a drink, my lad. Okay. What troubles you? Uh, no, no, no. What's there left to drink to? To our fresh young novices, our swift steeds, and our boundless cellars. You and your novices, you old perverts. A toast to our future abbot. I'll drink to that. So, to John, the future abbot, and a pox on Nevis. That killjoy? He'd love to have us all under his thumb. Fat shams. Don't worry. Those youngsters will wise up once they hear all about him. Will they believe it? Even if just two or three okay. of them do. It'll help us. So, to Abbot John, to... Do I need to stay with them here? Or not? Uh, by the way, what are my lockpicking skills? I, I don't think they're... Yeah, they're really low. Okay, see you fellas. I'm going to the library now. Still need to get that book. I'm not sure if I need to take the Chronomicon now. I have the key, right? I guess that should be enough. Also, food. Food would be a good idea to take. To sell it for, you know... Well, not to sell it, but to exchange it for lockpicks. Because that way I might get inside the abbot's room and we have some sort of a... Where is the food here? Where do you stash your food? Oh god damn it. We need lockpicks to to get food. Oh maybe not. Yeah, there's cabbage here. Some onions, but they don't cost anything. Will he value food more highly than uh I don't know than anything else? Oh, there's a storage. Well, let's take all the radish, I guess. Okay, there's plenty of stuff here. Let's take take it all. We'll give him all the food. Tomorrow. And get all his uh... I wonder where this leads it's very hard though so I don't think it matters where it leads okay let's go to the upper floor let's pick up the book let's see if maybe it's uh, the the daughter the abbot's room is open because I think that's the only one right I, I haven't seen any other room here that would indicate that it would be the one. No, that's locked. Okay. Oh, there's someone there. What are you doing? the same as you. I want to be able to read in peace and quiet, and not just the books they make us read. Hmm. What do you read here? What exactly do you read here? Well, I'd be interested to find the unofficial biography of Saint Procopius. 
but there probably is no such thing. To be honest, I was expecting some entertaining reading, but it's just the same old stuffy nonsense. But if that locked cabinet there with all the forbidden books was open, that would be a different story. Until recently it was still unlocked, but after something vanished they've kept it locked tight. Hmm. Maybe I could get inside. inside. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'd love to pour over some of those tomes. We'd be in it together, up to our ears in it. What do you say? We'll see what I can do. Well, I need to open them anyways. So... Is it still... Yeah, it's still locked. Well, let's unlock it. So... Oh no, that's not... I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I meant to actually try and look for some books. Oh, Necronomicon. Well, first of all, Necronomicon, you... and Avicenna. Ha! Ah, this looks like the Saracen language. Ib al-Hassan. That's who I'm looking for. Avicenna. Imagine these men could have been burned at the stake just for writing these books. Not many were, I'm sure. It's mostly Latin, that's not much use. But what about this one? Magical potions for conjuring diverse apparitions. I'll take it. Hey, you better leave that here. Well, what are you so afraid of? No one will notice if one or two books are missing. But this one looks interesting. A sorcerer's potion for rematerializing the body physical in other realms and for conversing with spirits of all manner therein. Oh, I have to try it out. I'll remember the recipe and prepare it later. Okay. So, do you owe me now? <laughs> so, well, I guess let's entrust him with the search of Pius, shall we? Or should we? You know what, I'll wait for now. I'll try to get my, me some, so, some lockpicks and try to maybe open that door in here. Next night. Yeah, and uh, if that will not work, I think this guy kind of owes me now. So maybe he'll help me. And I don't think it's him, right? It shouldn't be. Well, maybe he has a stash. Now what we need probably to do is try to like pickpocketing other novices and see if they have like sick, uh, like a die on them, and that will be the one that we definitely need to kill. Or if we'll have a die, that will be more or less it. Spice can actually be anyone. What we need is, is some lockpicks and like some records that we, you know. Yeah, l let's save, I guess. Oh, really? What's the matter with you? There we go. Uh, till four. I guess I'll give the book, because yeah, I, I don't want it to to be with me if I'll get caught. Okay, good enough. Um, off we go. We'll give the thing to... What's his face? Didn't we already... When we were trying to find the poison cure with brother Nicodemus, I'm pretty sure he was reading from Avicenna. Didn't he? 
or told me to retreat from Avicenna or something like that. No, no, no. I think he was reading from Avicenna and then was reading from something else. So, you know. Okay, go it with the others. Yeah. Oh, come on. Just move it. Yeah, yeah. And till seven. Okay. Is it till? Oh, it's too late, right? Yeah, let's wait till late. We'll exchange some food now. We'll try to find that bro brother Solarius, and yeah, good enough. Are any of you brother Solarius? Because I kind of forgot how he looks. Yeah, there we go. What do you desire? Uh, let's trade. So. All of them? Yeah, <laughs> 450, really? He told me, told me to change it, exchange it for food. But come on, that's that's just silly. Close the deal. <sighs> Can we just like talk? Can is it? Or will, do I really need to, like, sell him Secret. enough food to, like, feed the monastery for the whole year? I'm looking for some... and what? I need some lockpicks. I'm looking for lockpicks. Yeah, I'd yeah. Like well, why not? So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Hmm. And it still costs... Wow. Wow. Yeah, basically, I give him all that stuff, and it's still not enough. Even for one lockpick. I was hoping that like he'll be pricing the lockpicks a lot more than you know, but nope. What is it, brother? Uh, where's the? Here's the book you wanted. Here's the book you wanted. Amazing! This really is it. Now I can use it to prepare a cure for our suffering abbot. Then I'll leave it in the library to make it seem as if Brother Librarian left it lying about. There'll be no investigation. It would be against his best interests, as he'll look like the one who wasn't taking proper care of the books. It will drive him mad. I didn't leave the book out, or did I? <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you in return? Hmm. I'd like to know about the background of the other novices. I'd be interested in finding out the background of the other novices. That's a strange wish you have. And the only ones who know everything about the novices are the abbot and the prior. They keep a record of every monk in the abbot's book. But you'll never get your hands on it. It's locked up in the prior's study. Thanks. You've helped me immensely. No, thank you. About that book. Don't even think about breaking in to get it. Hmm. <laughs>
Can I somehow help you get elected? Is there any way I could help you get elected? Somehow tip the scales in your favor? What would you like to do? Climb up the tower and shout, vote for Nebulus, vote for Nebulus? Not exactly. You do have an opponent, John. John isn't my opponent, he's my brother. Just like you and everyone else here. We're all brothers in Christ. But there is something you could help me with. You must know there's a great deal of iniquity here in the monastery. I'd be interested to hear of anything I don't know about. Hmm. Do you want me to find out what's going on? Could I find out for you what's going on around here? Let me make this clear. I want to base my candidacy on putting things in order. But if I don't know exactly what's wrong, then my promises are just empty slogans. Very good then. I'll find out what I Thank you, brother. Okay. Hmm. Well, for now, I think I'll make a cut and we'll actually continue the next episode. Uh, where we'll try to break into the um, Abbot's room. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And uh, goodbye.